Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. In this video, I am going to explain one more best practice that we should apply while working with Git and GitHub. So guys, in my recent videos, I have discussed about creating a new branch and its guideline and also explained few topics which are related to deleting the branch on GitHub. Like here we discussed how to delete and restore the branches on GitHub and here we understood how to delete the repository itself and also we talked about how we can maintain the the repository size on github but here the one of the important factor is like whatever branch that we have created feature branch that we have created at the end we had to delete it manually and in this video we are going to take one more step ahead and configuring our github repository in a such a way so that after merging our PR, your feature branch will be deleted automatically. So we don't need to remember to delete the feature branch. It will be taken care automatically just by updating one setting on your GitHub account. This is very useful feature as you don't need to remember to delete the branch after your pull request, after your changes are merged. And by doing so, you can also maintain the size of your repository that I have already explained in this video. So let's see this in practical. So let me first explain the problem statement practically. So here this is the pull request which is currently open. And here I am proposing to merge feature 3 into master branch. And this is the example where I am showing once your pull request is merged, you have to delete the branch manually. So currently I have not updated the setting. And once we merge this pull request, pull request number 10 your branch will still be there and we have to delete it manually and uh, we are good we can go ahead and merge this pull request here i have another pull request we will see how after updating the setting on github account how your branch will get deleted automatically so in this pull request i am proposing to merge feature 4 to master and again here also it has a very minimal change and we are good to go and merge this pull request pull request number 10 we will see before updating the setting and this pull request number 9 we'll see after updating the setting so that we can see our feature branch is getting deleted properly or not so let's go to this pull request delete branch manually and we are good here consider you already have approval in place and and click on merge pull request confirm merge your pull request is merged successfully pull request successfully merged and closed and here we are getting a message like you are all set the feature 3 branch can be safely deleted so pull request pull request is merged and github is passing that message to us like okay everything is done perfectly well and now you can go ahead and delete feature 3 and we are also getting an option to delete the branch using this option using this button i can delete feature 3 immediately otherwise feature 3 branch will be there present in your repository so this is what happens if you have not updated the setting to delete the branch automatically we have to remember we have to delete the branch manually so let's go ahead and delete this Okay, this user Suresh Dubey deleted feature 3 branch now. So feature 3 is deleted now and I have done it manually. And uh, from this option again, if I want, I can restore the branch further, which I have already explained in my previous video where we discussed about how to delete and restore the branches on GitHub. There are various scenarios that we have discussed in this video. So this was the problem like after pull request is merged we have to remember to delete the branch and after updating a small setting on your github account you can easily automate this process to delete the branch so first of all you need to ensure that you are logged in into your github account and you have admin access then only you can see this settings option over here to update the setting you have to go inside settings tab and here under general section if you scroll down 
here we have one section called pull requests and we have a couple of other options and if you scroll down here we have one option which says automatically delete head branches head branches means the branch that you are merging into main or master after pull requests are merged you can have head branches deleted automatically this is exactly what we wanted right once our pull requests are merged i want to delete my branch automatically so here head branch is the branch which is being merged into master and i can check this it's saved automatically and deleted branch will still be able to restore so in previous example where we deleted the branch manually there also we were getting one option to restore the branch again and with this option also even though your branch head branch will be deleted automatically you will have an option to restore if you want to restore the branch again so just by enabling this option under settings tab we can achieve this so let's see let's verify whether it's really deleting the branch or not so settings are updated it's saved automatically and if i go to this pull request which has a title delete branch automatically after pull request is merged and here also consider you have approval everything is in place and i can go ahead and merge this pull request confirm merge the user deleted feature 4 branch now so as soon as your pull request is merged your head branch your feature branch in this case its feature 4 is deleted automatically and here i am getting an option to restore so it's deleted and if i want i can restore it back so this is the process this is what we have to do you just need to update one small settings over here and this settings is at the repo level so because this settings what we are getting is at the repository level if you perform this settings for any individual repository it will be applicable to all the branches all the pull request under this particular repository so you have to ensure like you are selecting the right repository and then you are updating this under settings tab over here and it will take care of deleting the branch automatically after pull requests are merged give a try update your repository wherever you have admin access and you are allowed to update the settings this is a really cool feature we don't need to maintain we don't need to you know keep storing the branch here under repository even though we are not using it that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new today from this video please reach out to me if you have any doubts or other questions please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features thank you for running this one thank you